Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and today we are going to try something very, very different and that thing that we're going to try is soft point bullets in some of the weaker calibers. So we've got ourselves the 243 with soft points and the 223 with soft points. Now this is going to be probably a terrible idea, but I figure we might as well try something interesting while we are waiting on a console release date. So I guess let's get to it. Let's try to take out this mule deer right here. This one actually has a pretty solid estimate. In fact, like all three of these are pretty good muleys, but this one right here is clearly the best of the three. So we're going to see what we can do with the 243 with soft points. All right, we got this guy to go alert, so let's lay down and get the 243 out and see if he will give us a broadside shot. It's a really nice buck, so I'd prefer not to mess it up, but I mean, <laughs> using something like this, you never know. That appears to be a good shot, and we'll put one into that guy too, just to see if a quartering shot is possible on them. It's definitely looking like that one was not good, which is a little unfortunate, but we definitely got the first one good. It's down to half health already, but this one's going to need another shot. And there we have it, our first kill with the 243 soft points, and it is a pretty good sized mule deer buck. So let's go ahead and pick that up. 280.20 single lung as I expected, and I'm guessing, yeah, zero quick kill, which uh, that's to be expected, honestly. But it is a very solid mule deer, one of the better looking level 4 racks, and honestly I wish some of the diamonds looked like this, but with a little bit more mass, and I think that would be just amazing if they could do that at one point, but pretty good buck. Definitely a good way to start things off. Ooh, well look at that right there, we got ourselves an albino mule deer. It is a small level 3, but that is by far the coolest thing that I've seen in about an hour of trying to find stuff for this video. I'd say that's an awesome thing to find, so let's go ahead and try to set up with the 243 and see if we can get one of these soft point bullets into him, because that is a beautiful buck. You know this right here is probably perfect. We could get a little bit more broadside, but I don't think we'll have too much of an issue getting through to the lung right here. Once he lifts his head up, it should be absolutely no problem. So we're just going to wait a couple seconds, see if he lifts his head up again, and then take the shot on him. And here we go. That should be a dead mule deer. Now it will take it a little bit to start dying off, but yeah, he is losing HP. And in fact, he's losing it faster than some of them had. That's actually kind of interesting. We must have got a better, more solid hit there. And yeah, he's about to go down. There he goes. Well, that's pretty cool. At least it's not a piebald. Even if it is a pretty small albino, I'll take that over a piebald any day because they just don't seem to be nearly as rare as the albinos or the melanistic. I don't know why, but for some reason the piebald mule deer are just everywhere. And I don't think it used to be like that. I'm pretty sure they used to be more rare in the past, but as of recent it seems like that's the rare you see popping up everywhere to the point where it's almost an uncommon. So I'm pretty happy that it's not a piebald, even if it is just a small albino. And he kind of died in an interesting pose. I can't say I've had one die quite like that before. It's almost like he's just taking a nap on the side of this hill. That actually looks pretty cool. Honestly, that's a cool screenshot right there, so... I'm not mad about that. I like the way he landed. Let's actually see if we can get an even cooler one. You know, honestly... That right there looks really cool. I like the way that looks, so we'll do that. And now let's go ahead and pick this guy up. And in fact, I think we'll get the clearest picture of him just like that. And there we go. That is an albino mule deer. Uh, nothing for the main lodge, but this will make a good addition to one of the secondary lodges. We can probably replace one of the piebalds we have up uh, because this is much cooler. And I really do like the new albino fur for the mule deer and the whitetail. I think it's a little bit more realistic. It may not look as clean as the old ones, but it's definitely more closer to what a real one would look like, at least from the ones that I've seen. But let's go ahead and move on and try to find something else for us to take out, preferably a different species. Well, that is a 9 to 11 turkey, and since it's coming at us, we might as well try to take it down if we can 
hit it. And there we go. We finally got it. I actually don't know if we hit it once or twice. That second shot might have hit. Uh, does look like it was just the last shot, though. But 4.30, nothing too big, but still good to uh, take these 9 to 11 turkeys down because they do make diamond quite often. So, since we have been given host of this server after the host left, I think what we're going to do now is set the time to around, I believe it's 8 in the morning, 7 or 8, and then we will head over to the hot spot. I believe 7 is when I do it, so let's go to 7 and head over to the hot spot because it is usually pretty good around that time. Another 9 to 11 turkey, another chance at a possible level 2 diamond. Let's hope this one gets a little bit closer than the last because the last one was not exactly a very good one. It was only 4.30, which is about the lowest they can score for the 9 to 11 weights. Hopefully this one's at least a 4.50. And here is our turkey. It didn't really go that far at all. And it is a 4.50. That was actually really close. It's over 10 kgs, which means this was probably on the high end of 4.50, like a 4.57 or a 4.58, maybe a 4.59 even. It was really close to diamond, though. Very, very close. Much closer than the others, so we're getting there. Hopefully the next one will end up actually pushing us over diamond. Well, since we have a bunch of bighorn out here, I'd say it's about time we try out the 223 with soft points. So, I guess we will find the best one, which I believe is that right there. Let's try to get it to move a little bit, and then see if we can get a shot into it. Uh, let's get out the right gun, that would probably be a good thing. Once he turns, we will take a shot at him, and that actually is a really nice looking big horn. I do love the way that that uh, set of horns looks compared to a lot of the diamonds. Uh, you know... I'm actually not sure which one of these is bigger. I think they're very similar, but this guy does seem to have a little more mass, as far as I can tell. Uh, once they stop being attentive, they should turn towards us, and then we should be able to get a shot into him. Here we go. He should be about ready to turn. And he turned just a little bit too much. Looks like this guy is unfortunately going to be a little bit stubborn. We might just have to take whichever one gives us a shot first. Oh, that was interesting to watch. Well, unfortunately, this level 3 right here is the smallest one, and it's also the only one that's giving us the type of shot that I need. Well, that guy did for a second, and then... There we go. Finally got one into one of these big horn. This is going to take ages for it to start dying, because the 223 is incredibly weak. So weak to the point where... Even stuff like a roe deer or a seek -a deer or a chamois take forever to die, so I don't expect this to die anytime soon. Well, unfortunately, after all of that, we didn't even get a vital shot on that bighorn. I'm not even sure what happened, but he's not dying off, so there's really nothing I can do. I'm not going to chase him through all this brush because he usually takes absolutely ages to find them when they run off in this direction, and I have terrible luck with them not coming back to their zones in multiplayer, so I think we're just gonna move on. Well, with uh, multiplayer not really working out as well as I wanted it to besides the uh, couple things that we did find, I think we're going to finish off by taking a couple whitetail in single player, so let's go ahead and take this guy out for sure because that is a beautiful buck, and then there should be one other level two. Yeah, this guy right here, so we're gonna try and get both of those. Because those are some very nice bucks. Now, we're going to be using the 223 with the soft points. I don't have a lot of faith in it at this range on whitetail deer. But I guess we'll see how it goes. If we can make sure we get a good angle, it should work out okay. I mean, I can't see a reason it wouldn't. But we just got to make sure we get a perfect shot on these guys. And with him being slightly quartered, I don't have faith that it's going to be perfect, but we shall try. I hope we got behind the crease in the shoulder. I think we did. That's kind of what I was aiming for. If we're lucky, we're either going to hit one lung or possibly liver. But it's really hard to tell. We just got to hope that it works out. And just in case it doesn't. I think we will take out this guy too because he is actually perfectly broadside 
And he's a decent buck that we need to get down anyway, so let's go ahead and do that. And that should be a guaranteed good shot. Well, one of them ended up coming back, so let's just go ahead and finish it off with the M1 so that we can just get him on the ground. And that right there should take care of him. But we did end up killing two of them as far as I can tell. Or, yeah, it's definitely tier 3 hunting pressure, so there should be three dead deer. Two of them with the 223 and then one that we just blasted with the M1. Well, that's an interesting way to die. I'd say that's uh, how they are supposed to die off, right? Looks like it. Very interesting. <laughs> I'm actually not 100% sure which deer this is. This is indeed the one that we shot twice. First shot just barely hit a little bit low and too far right. Second shot with the M1 nailed him. Now let's try and track down the other two. They've probably ran a long distance away from here, so might be a long track. And I believe this right here is probably the first one that we shot. I believe it would be at least. Actually, no, this was the second one we shot, 207.30, and we did get a left lung. So there really is not a lot of penetration, as you guys can see with the soft point 223. I do think it kills them a little bit quicker than the poly tips, just because it's got the extra expansion, but it's just so difficult to get a lung. I mean, you have to be absolutely perfect with your shooting. Well, here is the big buck of the three. This is the one that we took the first shot on, and we did end up hitting it vitally, so that's good at least. 224.20. That was just barely into a lung. Like, it honestly could not have been any closer, so we're pretty lucky to be honest. But that is a very solid whitetail deer, and I think on that note, we should probably jump into a couple highlights that we actually have from about one to two weeks ago. I don't remember exactly, but we were doing some great one grinding and we ended up finding a couple diamond whitetail. I think within the same day or two, it's been so long that I honestly can't even remember, but we ended up taking them out with the 45 Colt and the 223. So I figured it would fit perfectly into a video like this. So without further ado, let's jump into those highlights right now. Okay, so I was doing my daily runs for whitetail deer and I just happened to see a monster buck step out and if we can get a spot on him again, I will, but I think that's him right there actually. He's kind of tucked behind the brush right now, but you can kind of see his antlers sticking through the limbs. He is a beast of a level 3 diamond potential whitetail. And he does appear to be probably one of the mid 260s racks as far as I can tell. He doesn't have the greatest tip to tip spread from what I could see at first glance, but it does seem to be a pretty big one. It's got a lot of mass, a lot of really tall tines, so it's definitely going to be a good one. But I'm thinking it's probably going to score mid 260s. I doubt it would break 170 or even break 268. It's most likely going to be on the lower end or middle end of 260s, but it should still be a very solid deer. Now we just got to get it to come out because it ducked behind the brush as I was trying to get the recording going and I have no idea if he's even playing to come out. It actually kind of looks like he's drinking again, so we might need to move up closer and try to sneak up on him. And who knows how that's going to go. Oh, there he is right there. Yeah, that's a big buck, but that tip to tip spread is not looking great. I honestly think that this guy might just barely break 260 now that I'm looking at him a little bit better because that tip to tip's pretty bad. It almost reminds me of that buck that we had a while back that scored 240s even though it had the rack of a 260s buck. And the only reason it scored that low was because it had such close tip to tip spread and didn't uh, have what it needed to make diamond. And unfortunately I don't have the scope for the 45 Colt otherwise I would use that. And honestly, we still might use it if I can get close enough. But at the same time, we are approaching the end of their drink time, I believe. So we don't necessarily want to waste too much time trying to get close. We'll do our best, but if all else fails, we're pulling out the M1 Grand. I also have seen a few comments from a few of you guys that want to see where we end up taking all of our diamonds. So from now on, I'm going to try my best to remember to show. Uh, we found this guy at this lake right here. I had just come from this lake right here, which is where we got our first great one. And I moved up here. And this was supposed to be the last lake of this run. 
and we got ourselves a three. Now, I think we could probably take the shot right here. Um, I believe we get a little bit of zoom in when we... Actually, oh wow, we actually don't get the zoom in with the handgun. Only the shotguns and iron sight rifles, apparently. So I think at 50 meters and with this type of angle, we should be able to clip a lung. I think so, at least. As long as he has his head up, we should be able to get right at the crease. And that should be vitals. Yeah, that's definitely vitals, so... He's going to go down and we should get full score with no issues at all. Uh, this zone is also starting to get a lot more deer at it than before, which is nice because for a little while this zone had kind of dried up. We only had like three deer here and because we started shooting every single deer we see, it seems like it has kind of replenished this zone a little bit, which is nice because I like this zone a lot. But this guy right here is definitely one of the most unique level 3's we've killed with extremely close tip to tip spread and an incredibly mass heavy rack. So I'm very curious what this guy's gonna score. Very very curious, so I guess without any further ado let's go ahead and pick him up and see that 260.70 diamond. Look at that weight though, 98.68. This is what I was talking about, that guy's tip to tip spread dropped the score considerably because typically a buck with that weight would score like 269 or 270 even and this guy scores 260.70 just because that tip to tip spread is less than ideal I mean it's only got 12.87 on the tip to tip but I mean it makes for a really unique buck something you don't see every day which I'm always down for that we got ourselves a level 3 there we go of course it would be at this lake this lake is always amazing. You guys know what this means. I'm going to take the 223 with the starter scope and take this guy out. We got to do it. Wait. Do we do it with the 223 from 223 meters? I wish I could see the exact distance away that he is. It's so hard to tell if that's actually 223 because it won't actually like show the distance on him. I mean... She's 205, but shows up as 213. I mean, that's probably around 223 right there. I think that's around 223, but it's going to be so hard to get it perfect. Because I can't use the ground to find because he's slightly behind the hill. That's 217. That's 217. He's a little bit behind them, so this has to be around 223 meters. I think that should be good. Should be a good hit. Um, I think it'll make it. I think it's gonna make diamond. Yeah, diamond at 258. What a beauty. That's our 31st diamond whitetail. What a beauty. Small diamond, but still a diamond by like three points. And that is going to conclude our video for today. If you guys are brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click the like button, and ring that notification bell so you guys will never miss a video. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below if you guys have any ideas for a future video, or if there's any gun or species you'd like me to go after for a video, be sure to drop it down below, and I'll see if I can get to it. But, with that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!